Hi guys, Mike Warren here from the EN Rockstars and work with MikeWarren.com. And uh, thanks for coming through to check out this video. Uh, today I'm going to be teaching you the fundamentals to a good blog post. Okay, so these are the things that I do that I try and include in every blog post I do. And uh, I just want to share them with you. Okay, so I'm a member of the Empower Network and the EN Rockstars team. And this is my Empower Network blog, okay? Uh, so if, you're, if you've never heard of Empower Network, you have no idea what I'm talking about. Uh, Empower Network is a internet marketing, well, it, pr pr primarily it's a viral blogging system, okay? It's a viral blogging system where you get your own blog. That's the, that's the basic product. Uh, it's an internet marketing training company, so we have many different uh, level products which uh, teach you how to market online, how to start an online business, uh, also helps you with any other business that you could be involved with, um, gives you exposure online, uh, and it's uh, we've got many self-development products as well, so it doesn't just... Uh, help you with business, but it helps you uh, in your life as well. Uh, I can safely say this company has changed my life. And I know that sounds cliche, and I'm sure everyone, there's a lot of people out there that say the same thing, but it really has changed my life. And I've been involved with many different uh, just a little bit of background. I'm not going to. I want to get. I want to get into the content for you, but just a little bit of background. Um, I have dabbled around. Uh, I've been in the online world for a little while now. I have dabbled in MLM and uh, things like eBay. I've had little success, but I really didn't hit some major success until I joined the Empower Network. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. Uh, you know, I'll leave you a link at the at the end of this video if you're interested in finding more information about Empower Network itself. Uh, just watch the end of the video and I'll give you all the details. So let's go into the core of this video. So what I want to teach you today is the fundamentals of a good blog post. So one of our core commitments here in Power Network, we have eight core commitments and one of them is blog daily. So uh, everyone should try and blog daily if possible. Um, so, first of all, you need to decide, if you've got a blog post, you need to decide on what content, what you're going to write about. Uh, if you're with the Empower Network, uh, you know, it's your blog, it's your blog, it's your business. You can write pretty much about anything you want. Uh, this is my Empower Network blog. So, this blog... Um, includes things like internet marketing training, self-development, uh, things to do with Empower Network. Um, if you do want to come and visit it, you can come and visit it at mikewarrenonline.com. Um, you can come and check it out after you've watched this video if you're interested in reading some of these posts that I've done. Um, but, you know, just decide on what, what content you want to write about. Um, I suggest things maybe that you're passionate about. Uh, because you will find that you'll be able to write easier about things that you are passionate about. So make sure your content, you know, is entertaining and useful. OK, you know, don't bore the pants off of everyone that comes to your blog. You know, give them value, give them valuable content, give them good quality, you know, give them training, you know, help improve their lives. OK and uh you know add some value to the marketplace because the because the internet is run by good content okay it's run by good content and that is what people are looking for that is what google is looking for so make sure you're 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 providing good quality content so first of all you need to decide on your title uh so some key points i've got here um is make it a quite a short sentence try and make it catchy you know make it something that you would click on to read you know if you saw the post in Facebook you know something that you would click on 
So, I mean, that comes with a bit of practice, but, you know, try and make the title catchy. You know, I wrote a blog post the other day, um, you know, a uh, man goes from living in a van to millionaire using this secret eight step formula. You know, that that's something that I would like to read, you know. So try and make the title catchy. Don't use all capitals. OK, don't use all capitals and uh, don't try to avoid using characters such as uh, the percentage sign and the at sign uh, because it does affect things like permalinks and things like that. Uh, try and avoid that if possible. Um, so the next thing after you've done your title is your the body of your post. OK, the body of your post. So what I mean by that is, you know, the writing, the pictures, the videos. Um, this is the bulk of your post. OK, so I, re I recommend a good a good blog post should, should be about 500 to 700 words. You know, that would be a good blog post, a good quality one. If it's especially if it's information, you know, it's training or something that would be a good amount. Some people out there might be going, ah, you know, that might, that's too much, too much. I can't write that much. Well, it comes with practice. Believe me, you know, when I first started writing my blog post, you know, I did, I did, um, I did struggle a little bit. You know, it did take a little while to get used to it. And uh, but you will find that as time goes on and you start, you start writing more and, you know, you, you will find the words will start to flow and it, and you'll end up going over 700 words. OK, so. You know, try if you definitely if you're in Empower Network, try and blog every day because you will get better at it. OK. Um, keywords. OK, I might be getting a bit more advanced here, but some for some of the more advanced people, um, you know, make sure you've got your keyword. So, for example, in this post, my keyword is set your goals. OK, so try and get that keyword or related keywords throughout your post. OK, don't overburden it with with that, with those keywords, but, you know, try and add them in your post. And I would say, you know, uh, bold, try and make, you know, one bold, one underlined. You know, I've got, I've got it bold there as well. I mean, it is the, uh, what I'm saying is that trying to have one keyword, uh, like set your goals or massive action, for example, in this one. Um, one bold, one italicized, and one underlined. Okay, so it makes it more attractive, but it also helps with your SEO. Um, other things: um, H1, H2, and H3 tag. Uh, any of you out there that are familiar with WordPress will know about this. Um, so I would say try and make your title the H1 tag. And then a H2 tag, I don't think I've done it in this one. Um, I've just left them normal, which is a bit naughty of me, but um, this should be a H2 tag, for example, and this could be a H3 tag. So, you know, try, uh, that will help with your SEO. Like, again, it will help with your SEO and it also help with the visual aspect of it. Uh, right, very, very big tip. If you don't pick anything else up from this video, pick this up okay this is important make sure you include images pictures in your posts it makes it so much more appealing you know like that old saying uh, picture picture means a thousand words or represents a thousand words something like that uh, it's very true and especially in your blog posts make sure you give you're including images you know it, it makes the blog post so much more attractive and it breaks the writing up okay you can see look this is an image of the, my team at the um, last empower network uk event you know you know very clear sharp image um, and also try and include a video if you have if you have videos of uh, that you've created yourself and that you're in all the better OK, all the better. That will be the best option. But if not, all you have to do is go over to YouTube. <laughs> Bob Proctor's pulling a bit of a funny face there, but um, try and, uh, you know, find 
interesting videos, videos that you would watch and, uh, you know, share them. Put, you know, you can use them for the subject of your actual post. Put them in your post and then write about the video. You know, if you're stuck with making, with, with, uh, with uh, getting content or creating content, that's a huge tip there. Take a video that you like and then write about it. And as long as these video, as long as the video you've chosen has the share option, okay. So you know, as long as it has this this link here that you can put in. Or if you're using WordPress, you'll probably have to use the embed code here, um, or you could use the URL at the top, okay. Um, you know, you're perfectly allowed to use them. The people that that have these videos want you to share them, okay? They want you to share them because it creates backlinks, backlinks for them, uh, more views, more comments, more interaction. And if they've got Google AdSense on their videos, they'll make revenue from it. So they want you to share their videos. You're perfectly allowed to do that. And I do recommend you do that. Okay, so we're coming on to the end of my little tutorial here the last thing but quite a very important thing actually a very important thing is your call to action or your CTA okay so in this blog post I've put PS are you interested in changing your current situation today are you fed up of working from for someone else and would prefer to work from the comfort of your own home go here to my to my site to my squeeze page okay I put a link to my squeeze page. It should come up in a sec. There you go. Okay, it's so my squeeze page, right? And uh, you know, don't forget to do that. Don't forget to put your your call to action. Extremely important, especially if you're trying to sell something. You know, like promote. Well, I'm promoting the Empower Network opportunity here, but uh, you know, you could be you could be selling an ebook or promoting an Amazon product or whatever you're doing, promoting your off offline business, your shop or whatever you're doing, you know, make sure you've got a call to action. Make sure you're telling visitors what to do next, okay? You know, may maybe you don't want to, to uh, ask them to go to a link. Maybe you want to um, tell them to share your post or to comment on it, okay? So it's very important. Make sure you remember your call to action. Um, and also, you know, you, you don't have to just put it at the end. You could put your link. Don't bombard them too much with your link, but maybe a couple of times. Look, I, I put it under the video here. OK, so, you know, make sure you've got a couple of times, a couple of your links throughout the video. OK, well, that's the fundamentals. OK, I mean, there is a lot more, you know, you can learn. Um, but they're the key things that I do try and include in my blogging when I do a blog post. Um, I really hope it's been helpful. And, you know, if you've got any questions, you want to get in touch with me, you can go to my Facebook. OK, this is my it's my Facebook fan page. Uh, you can contact me on here or or my actual personal page. OK, Mike Warren. Just search for me, um, or you could just go to my my blog, like I said before, mikewarrenonline.com, uh, or, or my uh, my my um, my capture page, www.workwithmikewarren.com. Okay, so you know if you're interested in Empower Network, you want to maybe find out more information, you're interested in joining my team. Um, or you know you just want you just want to get your hands on a blog, or you want to you know you want to learn how to properly market online, okay, and start making sales. Um, please do get in touch with me. I'm I'm here to help you, uh, you know. And um, that's about it, guys. I hope this video has been helpful, and I will speak to you soon. Catch you later. Bye.